Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a quick ombre tutorial, very satisfying. So I already put the tip on and shaped and cut and filed and prepped the nail. I applied um, my tip and shaped it coffin and then I also applied my um, primer to the nail plate. I'm going to go in with my white acrylic powder. This is a powder that I mixed myself so that it would be slightly milky white, not so harsh. And I'm going to go in and put the first bead on the free edge and blend that down towards the tip. If your nail is not thick enough or you need support in other spots, you're going to go and do that as well. And you'll see me apply more acrylic to the tip because it didn't just it didn't blend all the way down like I wanted it to. And then I'm going to go in with another small bead to add some support to the tip of the nail. Um, you want to do that before you apply your color just because when you blend it's going to be hard to go back and fix the tip of the nail. Now you're going to see me apply my next bead of acrylic, which is going to be my pink acrylic, also mixed by me. Um, you're going to apply your first bead on top of that white and you're going to blend it down. The next you're going to put your second bead close to the cuticle area, but do not swarm the cuticle area. Um, on practice fingers, the cuticle area is pretty much the kind of like the raised part. So I go off of that just so that I can continuously get my practice with the cuticle area. Um, the second bead I'm putting is basically for support on the back of the nail. A quick tip to make sure you don't file away your um, ombre or blended area is to apply a bead of clear to support while you're filing just because I know sometimes I get file happy when I want that perfect look and I might file away what was blended so I use the clear to do that after that I'm going to shape the nail with my 80 grit nail file making sure that I make that sharp shape of bring the file um, at about a 90 degree angle and then I'm going to blend the top use my cuticle bit and my buff bit. After I have cleaned the nail, I'm going to go in with my top coat. You can use any top coat that you like, but for my um, colored acrylic ombre looks, I always use a gel top coat, whether if it's a high gloss shine or a matte top coat. I really prefer d and So here's the final look. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And remember, glitter makes everything better, so keep shining. Thank you.